And did you, you said you played rugby and stuff like that, but did you get into any martial arts or combat sports before boxing? Yeah, so I started off with karate when I was about five and uh, did it through primary school. And, uh, and then secondary school, I started doing kickboxing kung fu. And then I went to Shaolin Temple um, the year that I graduated. So I missed my graduation ceremony and went out because I already had a plane flight booked to China. So I was there for two months in a Shaolin school. And um, just before that time, I, I started, started having a look at uh, the boxing and um, so when I was so, so when I got back and I graduated, then I, you know, I was full time and um, really caught the bug for it. What, what was it like at the Shaolin Temple? What what drove you to go out there in the first place? I don't know. I used to go. Um, I used to. Uh, I went with this friend from uni, and he, and we went. We used to go to this thing called Seni, which was in the, the uh, combat sports show at the O2. No, uh, not the O2, the, the other one, at Excel, Excel. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I had a store that's only a couple of years for oh. um, Fighting Fit when we used to have that magazine. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I we got talking to this guy and he said, yeah, you just come back from Shaolin Temple and we should go. And then um, I didn't manage to go with my friend because uh, he, he kept on getting injuries and that. So, um, But then I, I ended up booking my flight and managed to go. And uh, yeah, it was, um, it was tough there. It's, you know, train four times a day and... Um, it's like the way the school is there, the Shaolin schools or the martial arts schools, the kids are there like boarding and they, um, you know, they're from young as like, I don't know, four or five years old all the way up to right. like 18. <laughs> so um, they train four times a day and then obviously they have their like normal school lessons and stuff like that. So, um, so what did you do out there when you weren't training? Well, uh, I think they had a day off. Like I think on a Thursday, so we'd like go and go to the Boutser shop and like have like noodles and uh, the, these little, uh, I don't know if they're, they're like little pastry things, but they're called Boutser. And uh, I don't know, go to like, there's all these like weapon shops with like, you know, stars, three section stars and like swords and well, like. Harking all, back to the Bruce yeah, Lee. All, the, all yeah. that kind of stuff. So that was pretty cool. Because it's like in the. Um, it's like in the countryside in Shaolin. It's called Deng Feng. Um, so Shaolin was like, I don't know, like two minute drive or something away. And um, yes, yeah, so we would do that or we'd go and, you know, do trips and have, you know, have a look around a bit more. Oh, there's the, the bathhouse. That was cool. We went to the bathhouse. Is that where you get washed by geishas and stuff? No, no, nah, it's that's a that's that's, my that's, weird, that's Japan. Weird fantasy. No, that's remember. Japan. No, China. <laughs> um, the bathhouse, like, uh, yeah, you got to go in there naked, and um, they have like this big, like, it's like a big like swimming pool or bath, or whatever, hot water that you can swim around in there. There's like um, there's these little stools in front of the mirror where you can like brush your teeth and have a shave and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, there was you know like saunas and. Uh, there's also like a uh, there's like a, a table and there's like a guy that can give you a massage but I was like forget that <laughs> or there's like little rooms where you can go and have a massage uh, with women I, I think I preferred that one yeah I, I, I would probably uh, agree and there's like these dark rooms where you had like these reclining chairs and like little TVs and you could just like go to sleep and chill and relax I think there's like a, a pool table and you could buy like ice creams and food and stuff Sounds amazing. Yeah, it's quite pretty cool, <laughs> yeah, it sounds yeah. really good.